Oh, I finally got it. The check valve is no longer leaking. What a mess. I had to replace the check valve, make a new one, which I made with this really cool, took the end of a drill bit and you made it in the shape of a D. If you can see that. Maybe you can, yeah, you can see. So it's a D, so it cuts an exactly perfectly smooth bottom of your, um, your tube. And then when you put the check in it, the valve piece, then it seals correctly. Anyway, so I did that. Then I added a second check valve here because I wanted to be able to add, since I have this little motor thing, you know, I wanted it to be able to work. So we can do that now. All that's operating correctly, which is good. See? Works no problem. And so the water goes in, but I put a check valve so it doesn't come back out of the injector, which still doesn't work right. But anyways, so it goes in and can go into the boiler all the way. So there's the new boiler tubing, like that. And then we just got our regular connections in the back there for where it comes in. So it comes in two different water lines, like that. So, but everything else still works. Looking good. So that's it.